This is the Tesla Model S70D 2016 model. It is a facelift model. So this one is supposed to be the most efficient Model S. It has smaller battery pack than the other bigger ones. And it has two small motors. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna test it now. And the route is 12 kilometers times two. So I'll go there and back again to compensate for wind and elevation. And you guys know the drill, you've probably seen it before. Uh, let me see, so I will first test now. Let me see, I'm gonna set range mode off. See, I also wanna find out how efficient range mode is on a, on a regular D, not a P, because the regular D models has uh, two small motors in the front and the back. We have shown before that range mode on on a P85D reduces the energy consumption by 7%. So, let me see, uh, so to avoid any like uh, um, variations to the consumption, let's set this one, the manual, okay, switch off, compressor, and then, yeah, let's just do this, so, so then at least, hmm, two should be enough, three, so at least the air conditioning is more or less consistent, and then also the speed should be very consistent, I'm not gonna play any music, so let's try now, test one. All right, first run, pretty impressive, 174 watt hour per kilometer. That is way lower than I can get on my Millennium Falcon, the P85. Yeah, so <laughs> D for the win. So what we're gonna do now is do the same test again. Uh, so change nothing, just to see if we get some consistency here. And then we will, uh, that's the test number two. And for the test number three and four, I will switch on range mode and see if I get lower results. So I'm not gonna show you the test, uh, you know the drill now, so yeah. I have done all the tests now, and it turns out that on the D, a regular D, not the P85D, P90D, whatever, uh, the effect of the range mode is barely noticeable. We have like 2% reduction in consumption, whereas on the P85D, P90D, well at least on the P85D, I measured it to be 7%, and 7% is pretty huge. Whereas 2%, it is so little that, you know, you might not even wanna use it because, well, okay, why would you always have it on, or why would you turn it off? The problem with range mode is that uh, you have several uh, settings bundled into one button. So the range mode will also switch off the battery heater and will also limit the power to the um, air conditioning. And there are situations where you want to have like full power under air conditioning, but you want to save energy at the same time, especially on the P, the P's, you know. And that is not possible unless Tesla makes a change. I've been talking about this for a while now that this uh, mode where the front, I mean, the car becomes more or less like a front wheel drive. That mode should be on a separate button. Yeah, actually, you know, why not just make a separate button for uh, for battery heater as well? Because you have, there are plenty of space there, you know, and a huge screen. Yeah, I'm just saying, Tesla. But anyway, the, the, cons the consumption on this car is pretty impressive. I don't have any reference. Well, I kind of have one reference, which is uh, my own P85. And from, from what I remember, similar similar conditions like here. Uh, the P85, my P85 was consuming 185 from what I remember. Or maybe it was even higher, maybe 109. So we're talking about like, let me see, 185. Oh. Whoa, whoa, 185 divided by 170. Whoa, that's almost 10% lower. Yeah, that's what I also measured before, like last year when I tested it. So that's pretty massive. But I guess I still have to find out if the facelift, how, how much, I mean, how more efficient is the facelift versus the old one? Because the facelift has a, has a different uh, shape on the front. And it's been said that that front is slightly more aerodynamic. So maybe we have to go higher speed or something. Maybe we have to cruise like 
120 kilometers per hour because we we're only doing 100 kilometers per hour now 60 miles per hour but still you know this low consumption this we're talking about the 70d it should have about 65,000 wait shit 65 kilowatt hours available and that means if you drive at this speed uh, it's not unusual I mean to drive at 60 miles per hour to I mean 100 kilometers per hour you will get a whooping uh, 100, 380 kilometers of range. <laughs> that is sick. That is the same range as I get on my P85. Uh, let me see. 380 times. Oh, sorry, I have to give you the other. Okay, about 240 miles of range. What? Okay, and um, the problem is that this car, the 70D, is discontinued. You can't buy it anymore unless you buy like a, an inventory car, a pre owned car. Now it's 60 d or 60 or 75 or 90 so but basically the 60 and the 75 is the same battery you just you have like the the capacity is limited but the power however is not limited so <laughs> the acceleration time on the 60 and the 75 is exactly the same yeah so actually you know we can also extrapolate and try to figure out how much uh, capacity you will have on the on the 60 we don't know how many kilowatt hours there is there but let's say 55 kilowatt hours uh, and we can also assume the same consumption so we should get about yeah uh, 320 kilometers on the full charge or 200 miles I guess that's pretty good and that's on normal driving we're not talking about talking about like limp mode here we're not cruising at 40 or 50 kilometers per hour we were cruising at 100 kilometers per hour so yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I love this. I love the looks of the new uh, new front. You know, either you hate it or you love it, but I love it. So that's it for now then.